Hey up! Today I'm going to edit a drum track doing some simple chops and uh, just to take you around the architecture of uh, Cool Edit Pro in the multi-track view. So first of all I've uploaded a drum track and it sounds like this. Pretty simple. In this bit it goes a little bit weird. And I want to kind of get rid of that and just make it all simple. So uh, I'm going to chop this drum track up in the multi-track editor. So let's go into that. If you go into the uh, little button in the corner here, switch to tr sw switch to multi-track view or F12. That'll change over into this. Let me just get rid of that. Uh, and I'll show you how to import it into the multi-tracker. Now on the side here, you should see uh, a files section it should say files effects favorites so the files are the ones that you've got open and this is just multi mix down drum track for me if you press this little button here insert into multi-track that'll just do what it says there you go bang uh, another way to do it would be to uh, just take the track grab it with the left button drag it onto the multi-track view and let go and that's it that was left click there to drag if you hover over your uh, track there right click it and drag it that'll move it easy enough some other things if you can press control hold down control and use the mouse wheel that'll zoom in and zoom out the transport function is at the top you just click and drag that about um, other things if you um, click and drag left click and drag you'll be able to select portions of your track these little uh, yellow things at the top here can adjust the boundaries of your track so that's very useful that's how you do that and then uh, let's have a go at uh, chopping this up so I want to get this bit just here uh, so I want to get really accurately zoomed in first so I'm going to just hold down control and mouse wheel forward until I get right into the sample point like that. and I'm just chop it there now to chop it uh, there's some scissors up at the top here split block that's shift C and uh, I like to do shift C so that was that and then control and mouse wheel out and that's chopped like it's a bit of tape and I think that's what I like about cool it is like you're actually using scissors there you go it's chopped it from the from the first bit and we're gonna go into this section here same procedure I'm gonna zoom right in to the sample point chop control C or that button up at the top there and zoom back out again my mouse wheel is not fantastic just use the transport button to see where I am there you go so that's all moved like that. That's all um, independent now. That's the whole thing I want to loop. So I'm going to get the bit that I want to chop out. Okay, if you go into the corner of this transport thing at the top, you can uh, change the range of it like that, which is quite useful. So all I wanted to do there, because it was off screen, I just wanted to see it. So I just moved it in like that. And then I'm going to zoom into the... No, I'm not. I'm going to zoom out. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to chop it right up to here. So I'm going to zoom into there. And it zooms in wherever the mouse is pointing at. Like I'm aiming the mouse. So Control c that'll chop that. And then zoom out. There's, there's a quick way of zooming out if you go down here. Uh, uh, I can't remember which one it is. You can uh, do it like that just by clicking a few times. Or well, I think that one does the whole one of these. Does the uh, does the whole thing? There you go. That's the whole the whole waveform. Oops. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, that zooms in 
to the waveform that way and zooms out. If you want to zoom in and make the track actually bigger, you can hold hover your mouse wheel over the tracks here and control and mouse wheel and that will make the track like extra big so you can do some detailed work. It's good to know all these transport functions. So we don't want to be I like my um track looking about that big. I think that's everything chopped up. So that's the bit I want to chop out. I want to get rid of that. I've got, I think I've changed this um instead of pressing delete my delete button doesn't work anymore. I've changed the uh uh, the keys and this is like a custom key for me it's shift and x so i've got copy uh control c control v is paste control x for me is delete that kind of thing control z z is um uh undo i think as well so anyway back to this that's the bit i want to copy there's a few ways to do this, but I like to just hold down the shift and right click and that just moves the copy across like that. It's an exact copy of that. And then uh, if, I, if you have this button here, snap to blocks checked, that will allow you to just snap it to the end of that block. Then you move this over, snap that to the end of that block. Um, if you don't have that, it's quite hard to get things aligned. Uh, it's not impossible, but it's easier just to... Oops. It's easier just to uh, use the snap function. Like that. Then I'm zooming out. I'm always pressing control or shift, and I'll, I'm always using the transport functions. Just because it's... Uh, uh, a lot quicker that way than pressing all the buttons on the top all these ones down here um, space bar is play no it's not <laughs> that didn't work let's try again oh it was my computer was uh, a bit slow there so this should just loop now here we go That was it. Can't tell it's been chopped. And this is the other bit. Here we go. So that's just a simple edit. Chopping, zooming in, transporting things around. Uh, there's some more difficult edits that I'm going to show you how to do in the next video. So tune in for that. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments about this video, uh, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hope you're staying healthy and safe in this coronavirus uh, outbreak. Um, it's affecting all those musicians um, and uh, I hope you're doing okay. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.